Now I've got us flying back into Johnson County Executive. Let's say this time the localizer's out and radar control. So our only option is doing the GPS approach into the airport. Same thing, we want to shoot a GPS approach. We go to procedure, select approach. Again, put the big knob, scroll down. I want to do the GPS 36 this time. Press enter. Now it gives us our selection of vectors or which initial approach fix we want to go to. In this case, actually this is the most difficult part of GPS approaches is pronouncing these names. I'm going to call it Okud and we'll highlight it. Press enter. Now again it's asking us to load it or activate it. Let's say they haven't cleared us for it. Press enter. Notice this time, since it was a GPS approach, it didn't give me the disclaimer. GPS is going to be your primary means of nav on this approach. So we're still flying direct OJC, but we've got the approach loaded up in our buffer zone. So now as we're flying along, and they give us those magic words, Mooney 430 Golf, you're cleared for the GPS runway 36. The only thing I have to do is go procedure and enter. Now this approach is laid out in a standard GPS T. All you got to do is, again, follow the, the magic magenta line. It's going to take us to the initial fix, then it's going to take us up here to an intermediate fix, to our final fix, and down to our missed approach point. And again, I'll declutter the map. So again, just follow the box, and we don't have to touch anything else on the box. It's all going to happen in sequence automatically. Now you can see we're nearing our initial approach fix. Again, this is going to work just like on the other approaches. We're going to get our turn anticipation. We're moving along here at 162 knots. And we're a half mile out. It's telling us next desired track, 86 degrees. And go ahead and turn to 86 degrees, right when it tells us to. And it sequences to our next line. This next leg is a 90 degree turn. Turns like this when turn anticipation comes in real handy. You can make such nice smooth intercepts to the next course and just fly along and follow what the box says. Now we're coming up to our intermediate point, uh, Mara. Again, I guess I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you can pronounce these GPS waypoint names, you're better off than I am. Uh, next desired track, 356. And again, what's it going to tell us in a few seconds? It's going to tell us to turn to 356 so we can cut that corner in nice. Again, this is so much easier than conventional approaches. With this box, everything's the same. It should take the fear out of, out of doing them. A GPS approach is as easy as shooting a localizer ILS approach. And we come in, you can see it's turning the corner. When we're halfway through the turn, it's going to sequence us to our next leg. And there we go, to our next leg. And again, desired track is 356, that's our inbound. And just like on the localizer, we'll fly it the same way. It'll sequence us down and our needle sensitivity, once we're two miles out from Herb, the final approach fix, will go to a third of a mile. So it almost looks like we're shooting a localizer. We're flying a very sensitive needle down to the runway numbers. So just keep the needle centered and you'll make it to the airport. Now you'll see we're getting close to our two miles from our final approach fix. Right when we hit two miles over here, it'll go from the terminal phase to the approach phase of flight. There, it just changed, it highlighted. So the approach has gone active. If I come over here to my CDI page, Look over here where I was telling your needle deflection. Notice it's a 0 0.9, 0 0.8. It does a slow transition from a one mile CDI to a third mile CDI. So that way, if for some reason you're off course a little bit, if you notice the way I'm flying it here, I'm never off course. But let's say you're off course a little bit, because I never would be. Um, you wouldn't get the needle to slam over as it transitions down. So it's a smooth ramping down to a third mile. So once we cross the final fix, it is a third mile CDI. Now we drop the gear, we're going down to MDA and to missed approach point. The missed approach point will be at zero DME. 
just like on all the other approaches. So you don't have to worry about timing or anything else. You know exactly where you are.